Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for everybody who's come out and supported the streams the last couple of days. I really do appreciate that a lot. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's get on to today's video. Today we're going to talk about Bori. Bori just came out. Uh, just came out today. If you were in the Eagles Watch Tournament, uh... In the Eagle Watch tournament, you earn shards for Bori. As you can see here, I am on my test account. Uh, so I want to make sure that everybody understands this is the test account that I am currently on. Um, in this one, I received 100 shards of Bori. I personally didn't get into the tournament. I forgot to do it. I was so wrapped up into doing my test account stuff that I forgot to get into the tournament. In fact, I'll show you right now on my main account. This is my main account here, right? As you can see, it. I did not participate in the tournament at all. Um, and so I was, I, I was very disappointed in myself. I just, that's on my, I didn't do it, but I wanted to bring you an in-depth guide into Bori. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Bori, um, what he, what's good, what, what he does and that sort of stuff. Since everybody has now gotten some shards and some people have unlocked him. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. So Bori is a pride character. Um, he is a pride character, as you can see here on the test account. I have him maxed out to gear 11. And so we can see his stats here on the screen. His power uh, at gear 11, no runes, is 22,005. Uh, his current physical damage, because he's a physical damage dealer, is 3,054. Um, his crit chance, base crit chance before runes is 31.18%. Uh, his crit damage is the normal. His penetration is uh, 1045. Uh, used in calculating damage from abilities reduced uh, reduces enemy physical and magic damage armor. So it's really, it's really high. His accuracy is the base of 100. His health is 20,916. His physical armor uh, is 29%. His magic armor is 36%. So he reduces magic armor better than physical. Um, his total shields are 23,722. And then he has 159 base speed at gear 11. Um, so he's a pretty, pretty fast character. Uh, and his potency is naturally 29%. His tenacity is 32%. And he has a 5% lifesteal. So let's get into uh, where he's at on the rankings. So if we look up, if we look up my hero spreadsheet and we talk about where he is supposed, to, you know, uh, to other damage dealers. Um, let's so let's go ahead and just look at that. So I believe he would be. He is considered a fighter. Um, and so if we look at all the different fighters and we look at some of the top ones, all right, so Kara is a top fighter and she's got 3,000 physical damage, all right, and 140 speed, all right? Um, if we look at Bori, all right, he's got 159 speed and 3, 000, roughly 3,000 damage. So he's faster than she is. Um, if we look at Wonder Lula, who's another top tier character at 174 speed and 3,200 base physical damage, all right? So he's... He's kind of hanging in there. Um, he's a little bit lower in damage, lower on speed. Um, but she's kind of the, when it comes to fighters, she's one of the fastest. Um, and then, of course, we have, you know, Freezard uh, with 181 base speed. But he's got, you know, oh, uh, well, can't really look at that right now because I've got him leveled out. So we can't really talk about his base speed that way. Um, but we can look at his his base speed. Normally, he's 150 um, and then Nightiel, uh, who's another one who we'd want to compare, um, compare to to see whether he, you know, whether how he compares to Nightiel as well. Um, we're looking at a base speed of 140, and you know her magic damage is 3,065. Uh, and so, in comparison to some of these top in characters, he's, his damage and speed are right up there. So let's talk about his kit. His kit. Um, is his first ability is called finishing shot 200% of physical damage to an enemy. And if that target has, uh, the least health left, he deals 250% 
uh, damage instead. Uh, and so that's that's a nice ability. Uh, if the if it's the you know that the target has the lowest hull at the end of the attack, he's going to do uh, an extra fifty percent physical damage on the basic. Uh, wounding arrow, which is has a you know is a turn two ability. It's his first special. Deals three hundred percent physical damage to an enemy. Applies two stacks of bleeding for two turns. That's pretty cool. Um, two stacks of bleeding um, per turn. So that's pretty awesome. Um, that's definitely see some synergy there with, uh, with Revel because Revel needs those bleed stacks to do more damage. Now, of course, this ability is a single target ability. Um, and so if we're thinking about, you know, should we be using Bori instead of Snorri, right? Or maybe use them all together. That might not be, a, that may be the better way to go. Let's look at Power of the Wind. Uh, Bori gains critical damage increase, uh, cr increased damage, and haste for two turns. If Kagi is on the battlefield, he receives the same buffs, recovers 30% turn meter. And so when he uses this ability, he's going to recover 30% of his turn meter. Uh, and he, he's going to get damage increase uh, and that sort of stuff. And this is a, an ability he can use first turn the cooldown on it is three of three so he can first turn this ability uh which is really nice his passive ability is he gains 10 percent physical uh damage for each living pride character in the party if kagi's on the battlefield uh, both gain armor increase for two turns at the start of battle and so that's really nice so he's gonna if you put him in an all pride team Right, he can get physical damage increased up to fifty, you know, up to forty percent total, right? Uh, because it's for each living pride character, but it's going to go down every time they die, right? They're going to lose, um, for each living pride character. I'm I'm curious to see if this is he gets ten percent for just being himself, uh, because of the way it's worded. Uh, Bori gains ten percent for each living pride character in the party, so maybe innately he gets ten percent for himself. And then, you know, 10% for each other character, as long as they're alive, that could be a total of 50%. And then when they die off, it dwindles down from 50 down to, um, and down to, uh, you know, 10 until he's dead. Once he's dead, it doesn't matter anymore. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that actually works. But overall, Kit seems pretty solid. Um, if we're talking about my tier list, right? And remember what I always say about my tier list is a character that can stand alone by themselves without a whole lot of help from anyone else, um, right? He, you know, he his first three abilities seem like he has that. But then when we get to Unity, his passive ability, we find that he's dependent Pretty dependent, a lot like the elves, pretty dependent on having pride in the party to do a massive amount of damage. And so that is kind of what we're what we're seeing. So let's go ahead and take them. We'll go ahead and uh, take them on over into the arena. Now, currently on the test account, there aren't a whole lot of of arenas, but we do see we do see some uh, some teams that are running Bori here, Bori and Snorri, right? This is kind of the an interesting team. So I think we're going to go ahead and attack this team. Um, and I don't have any mods or anything like that currently on the team, so we're going to probably lose the battle. Um, but that's not why we're going in. We're going to mirror match this team with the same team because I believe that that's the that that would be that's is a good team to to talk about so we're just going to go straight to pride all right uh we got Hera as the lead Salvador um and Bori and then we'll put Snorri on in there too and Snorri's a human so let's get on let's find Snorri as a human all right and let's go ahead and go on in now when we're talking about you know, we're talking about trying to have bleed synergies here. Um, I mentioned earlier, we're looking at Bori and Snorri, Bori and Snorri and Revel, Mr. Lover. Um, and Lover loves the characters that add bleed. So as you can see, they're going to go right away and, and they're going to go faster. I don't, like I said, I have no mods equipped or anything like that. But as you can see, Bori can go right away and add his abilities. So we're going to do the same thing. And I'm, we're doing this because I want you guys to see the synergies between the characters, All right? Um, Revel's going to go ahead and go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and go toward our battle stance. Boom. Drops bleed on everybody. All right. Bori here, 300%. All right. Wounding arrow. 
Uh, we are we're gonna go ahead and hit we're gonna go ahead and hit Salvador with that because we can't really get around him, right? Add the two stacks here. We're gonna steal shell, uh, and then we're gonna attack. We're gonna add bleed to a lot of others, All right? So now we have Revel coming up. Um, all right, Bori, let's see here. Let's uh, go ahead and attack Snorri because we're worried about him. Uh, all right, let's slow Revel down a little bit here, see if we can get a big swipe. So he gets he gets his passive ability, so Revel's passive ability, right, deals 20% more damage for each stack of bleed on the encounter. So we got one, two, three, uh, six Six, uh, you know, so we got you know, 120 percent more damage here on this ability. Boom! Oh, look at those big numbers, big big numbers going on um, there. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Um, as you can see, this is starting to go pretty well in our favor. Um, we're gonna go ahead and also gain increase up again, and we're gonna taunt this time. We're gonna go right after their guy and taunt. We still have still shell up. Um, and this is, and you know, this is really what I was talking when I'm talking about when you're having some of these synergies, um, right? Bori's allowing for even more bleeds to happen, um, and so that's good. Obviously, we're getting stuck behind Salvador, but they're also stuck behind our Salvador as well. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and add, try to add two more stacks of bleed. Uh, over here, we only got one of them, uh, so that's that's kind of what ended up happening there. But we're gonna go ahead and add some more bleed to the to the party here with Bori, and you're kind of getting a good chance to see how how good of a tank Salvador can be. Uh, but let's go ahead and go after Salvador again, um, and we're gonna add some more bleed. And we just got wrecked by their rebel, which we kind of knew was going to happen eventually as soon as he got to go. So. Really, really interesting. So you're going to see that Bori is adding more bleed and more bleed and more bleed. It, it, we need more bleed, right? And so that's really, really nice. If we were to add some more, um, some more, you know, potency, obviously, to Bori. If you're talking about wanting to, you know, gear Bori up, um, let's pull up Bori again and we can talk about how we would uh how i would uh go about modding him is that i would look for mods and i would be using damage before damage mods um uh, and then i would have pot potency mods over here um on this but i would you know be using potency with potency um uh, so in your northwest rune uh, I would be using potency here. I don't have any potency mods currently, uh, but you're looking for your main stat to be potency as well as, you know, the Northwestern rune of potency, which has potency here and then potency as well. And then you could put, put wherever you have your pot another potency mod for speed, of course, in your, in your Northeast arrow, I would go damage here on, uh, and then I would also go damage, damage on your North damage on your South, um, and then, you know, health, health or shields, armor is always available here. Uh, but that's kind of what you're, what you're looking at. And then look at your secondary, see if you have po you know, potency and of course you want speed secondaries. Um, uh, but because you want to apply as much bleed as possible all the time, you saw even in the gameplay, in the gameplay footage, we were not hitting enough bleeds at the moment. Um, and so because he's just not, we don't have the, I don't have it set up. And so that's really Bori. I think that ultimately if where I would put him in my tier guide is I would make him a tier two character. Um, here's the reason why he needs pride. Um, he's going to run really well. He's going to help Revel be better. Um, Snorri just even better than Revel already is. Um, but you're also going to need Snorri. He seems to be assisting. He's got synergies with Kagi, but Kagi's not particularly great. And even if you wanted to bring, um, even if you wanted to bring Kagi in, right? Bringing Kagi into this team is say running Hera, Revel, Salvador, Kagi, and Mori, right? You're still missing out. Um, you're still missing out uh, on this on Hera here, right? You're missing out on 
Snorri adding debuff or adding bleed to everyone, and just his single target is not a, is just not enough. It's kind of the problem that Rebel has. Rebel only hits one target; he only hits one target, right? And so if, even if they both take a turn, that's only three, right? But when Snorri gets out there, you get a bunch of damage. And so, like I said, if they were up and they were modded correctly and that sort of thing, it would be really, really awesome awesome to see um hopefully i'll have them modded up soon and be able to show you guys some more gameplay but as of right now i know the bori tournament just ended um not that long ago and i wanted to put out a guide and what you know should it be going for bori is bori a, a good character or a bad character he's he's a good character um but he's limited um i don't see what his functionality for the raid is going to necessarily be off the top of my head i mean he's a physical damage dealer that adds bleed right so i mean can he can he do really well in you know on solius who well depend on who you were trying to take out right if you're i mean if you're running t7 right t6 or t7 on the raid and that sort of stuff i mean are you really are you really going to be you know you need rebel you need hard orc you need snorri and trumgar maybe 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 what you're doing is you're removing rantha as a lead there and putting trumgar as your lead and then bring bori in but that's going to be some time i mean not everybody's going to have bori nobody's going to have bori at seven stars the only reason why i do right now is this is a test account so i just want to make sure that everybody understands the test account i have that but we don't have that otherwise so just in conclusion, Bori's a good character. Uh, it's a fun tournament, I'm sure. I do not have him in my account. Uh, I think he's going to make a Hera, Salvador, Rebel, um, Snorri team very good. He might be well. He might be good in the first part of part one of the raid. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't, I don't see him being meta defining by any stretch of the imagination. I don't see that happening right now. Uh, but he is a tier two character. He needs somebody else to make. He he makes other people better. He him alone. He's not he's not wowing us, right? He's not giving a bunch of people a lot of things. He's really only there to help out Rebel um, and his Pride group. And he only gets buffed up to do massive damage when he's with other Pride members. And so I believe that he is a tier two character um, at this present time. Uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily be wasting resources into gearing him up unless you have, you know, a Hera, Salvador, Rebel, and Snorri team. With all that said, I thank you guys very much for the support. If you are new around here, hit that, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. If you like the video, drop a like, hit your comments down below. If you have any questions or anything about the comments, please leave them down below. I'll try to get to them. I plan on if the questions are really, um, they need good explanation. I want to do a video at the end of each week, hopefully on Friday, uh, answering all of those, um, all of those questions in one video. Uh, that's kind of something I'd like to start doing. Um, and so if you have an in-depth question about the game or something that I may be able to help you out with, drop that in the comments and I will get back to you. I will let you know that I will let you know in the comments if you're going to be in the video. Um, if your answer question is going to be answered in the video, um, that'll come out on Friday. Thank you so much for all the support and we will see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.